Hi. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the um, firmware on the Samsung Tab 2. I recently added a video on how to fix this, or asking how do I fix this, and I got no response, and then finally I figured it out on my own. It, it really wasn't that hard once I figured it out. So, I hope this you guys like this video, and hope you enjoy it. Please comment right First, is go download Odin. There's going to be a... I'm going to see if I can try to get as much... All the files I can into the description. But if I can't, just Google Odin or all these files. But first, you're going to download Odin. Odin right here. And once you have Odin downloaded, you're going to want to go download a recovery uh, uh, system recovery. I got Phil's touch. I'm gonna try to stick this in the description also. Um, once you got the dis the Phil's touch or whatever your recovery is, you're going to want to go download a ROM, which you're gonna want a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. If it's a Tab 2, you're gonna want a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 ROM. And then once you've done that, you're going to go into Odin. And if it's stuck on this page, it won't go down, it won't go into download mode or anything. It's just stuck. Stuck on this like mine was. You can plug it in just like this. You can plug it in to the computer just like this and it'll still work. So I'm not going to show you guys the exact things because the exact steps because I've already done this. But you plug it in, plug your tablet in, and this is gonna something's gonna show up right here. Wait for it. There it is, right here. My bad. You see it showed up right here. That's as long as you see that blue, that's perfect. You're gonna click on PDA, and you're gonna go into where your your system recovery is so mine is in Odin right here the fills touch you're gonna click on o open and then you're gonna click start now once you click start it's actually going to let you like go into everything after that like it'll let you it'll let you go into download mode and it'll act like it's starting up, but it's actually not. It's just going to stay starting up, starting up, starting up. And before you do all this, you're going to make sure your tablet is charged. So to make sure that your tablet is charged completely, stick it on the charger all night and then try this in the morning. And then once you finally can get it down into download mode, which I'll show you real quick. Okay, to get it into download mode, or as other would call it, Odin mode, you're going to push the volume down. It's going to show that battery that just showed you at the first. It's going to show that just going around and around or whatever. It ain't going to show you the screen going up or whatever. So what you do is you push the volume down and the power button at the same time and hold it until you see this. No, sorry. Hang on, let me retry. Okay, I'm sorry. I must not have pushed it right. Okay, you're going to push the volume down button and the power button at the same time. And then you should see this screen. Now, if you see this screen, then you've successful the step. Now, on to the next step. You're going to push the volume up button, which is going to show the download mode, which is... Now, once you push the up button, it's going to show something like this. And once you have this, you're going to plug in your it into your computer. And you're going to go back to Odin on your computer. And once you are onto your computer, it should show this up again. But you're on download mode. Oops, sorry. Okay, it should show the blue. It should show on your 
device this once it shows that you're going to go into PDA well first you're going to download the ROM that you want the Samsung Galaxy S or Samsung Tab 2 ROM and I'm gonna tr like I said I'm gonna try to get you guys into the description if it's not there then just google it I'm sure you can find it I'm gonna try my best though to get it into the description but this is the ROM I have what you're gonna do is you're going to download this which this will probably be into the in the description you're gonna download this extract it all it may be different on other computers but you're gonna extract that file and then you're going to open it up and it should be right there so once you have it there you're gonna go into Odin click on PDA go into desktop or wherever you have your ROM click on the file that it's there click here and then there it is and you're gonna click and then you're gonna click open to open it once the file is in there which this part may take a little bit because on me it took forever but once it gets in here you're gonna click on start and then this will take up to about 10 maybe 10 minutes depending on your computer or whatever it took me up to 10 minutes to finally fully load and once it fully loaded it started right up I mean it, it took a while it took about another 10 minutes to fully start the whole tablet up and once it fully started the tablet up, it brought me to the screen, the, the setup screen and everything to type my name in. And it worked perfectly. I was surprised. I was shocked. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's not going to look quite the same as a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Let me just aim the camera down here. I'm going to show you the difference in it. Here it is. This is the tablet that was broke, I promise you. The one that it was stuck on the screen. This is the same one. So, what you're going to do, what it's going to look like is something like this. And unlock it. I've downloaded files, but ignore those files. But um it's going to have like a kind of, basically kind of like a Samsung Galaxy S4. Because the setup is almost the same. But you're going to. This is your apps. And. I was surprised. But the only thing is. See, there's no service. That's because this is not a Samson tab that is. What you. What is it? That runs on internet or whatever. The 3G. That's why it says no up there, whatever. Anyways, you can see that it's 4.1.2 Android version, and then the model number is different even. Because normally the model number is like GTP3101, I think. But the, there's another problem is if you go to system update or software update, and you click on where you live and all that jazz you click accept accept and confirm this is what will show up it says progress failed now I'm trying to find another ROM to download onto this instead of this ROM because there's a lot of functions that it won't let do it won't let it do like for an example it won't let it update right there it wouldn't let the software update and then there was something else that it wouldn't let it do because it runs on whatever it normally runs on 3G but like you can you can push this and then there's that here focus sorry there we go there's the data network mode which I'm not sure what that is oops network net mode see it says insert sim card to access network service so as you can see there is no 
where you can put no SIM card. That's a micro SD card. Let me see if I can focus it real quick. Let me add some lighting over here. So as you can see right there, it's micro SD card. And normally there's a SIM card slot right here, but there isn't because this is a Wi-Fi only tablet. So as you can see, there is no absolute SIM card slot in there because this is the tablet. And then also, normally you could go into battery, you could go into battery, and there would be a checkbox at the bottom, it would say battery percentage. And then also, if it's not there, then sometimes you can go into display, and then there's battery percentage, and it would show your battery percentage up there. But since it don't do that, I had to download this battery percentage to tell me how much battery percentage I had because I like to know how much it has. The only reason it says X is because I have it plugged into my computer. Sorry. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It really helped me out a lot and I was like shocked when I figured it out because I'm usually finding stuff on the computer and changing stuff up a little bit and then making videos and I will do stuff different a little bit at times and then sometimes I like the basic things like I do outside I usually figure that stuff but usually the software stuff I usually get an idea on how to do it on Google and different places and then make a full video but this I completely figured it out on my own and I hope you guys support me and I hope it helps you guys out. And I would really I would really appreciate it if you guys would comment, rate, and subscribe and and tell me if it helped you. And I've had a few people ask me how I fixed it on my older video. If you go check that out, you could see the problem that it was having. But I hope this helped you guys and I I will be Hopefully making videos soon. Thank you for watching.